A set of brushes costs normally $14.95. And now they are on sale with a $3 discount. Mary buys as many sets as she can with $50. What is a change from $50? Okay, there's many things going on. There's brushes and they cost that much. There's a discount. Mary has $50 and she wants to buy as much as she can. Okay. So let's get started with something. Maybe one easy point to get started with is the price of the brushes. The brushes with the the brushes cost now eleven ninety five with a discount. So one set of brushes costs eleven ninety five. And this is really close to twelve dollars. Let me see if we can use that. Now if one set costs twelve dollars, how many could you buy with fifty dollars? It's much easier to work with this rounded number and uh, yeah, we can see that four sets would be about $48, right? So she can buy four sets with her $50. And now we need to figure out what is the exact cost of four sets because each one of them costs $11.95, okay? And you can think this way. You could multiply four times 11.95. But there's a little bit quicker and easier mental math way, so to speak. And that is that when I rounded this number, the difference between the real price and the rounded number is how much? The difference is just five cents. So when we multiply by four, then the difference will be four times five cents. It's the error of our estimation. When I multiply 4 times 12, 48, and if I multiply 4 times 11.95, the number here would be 4 times that, less than $48. The difference is 20 cents, okay? And so this must be 20 cents less than $48, okay? Or $47.80. So that is how much faucets cost. And now her change, I go from this amount to $50 and I can add up. Okay, from $47.80, I'll put it here, $47.80. Imagine that there's a number line here and you go, you're going to go up to $50. So from $47.80, first go up to $48. That's just 20 cents. And then from $48 to $50 is $2. So in total, the change will be $2.20. And our last word problem has how many cookies that cost 80 cents a piece can you buy with $20? And what is your change? What is it, Matthew? Tickling me, huh? I'm going to say something, right? right? Oh, yeah. You probably guess. He thinks this word problem needs changed. Want to guess how? Need to add here one word. Blueberry cookies, of course. Yeah, you are silly, Matty. His favorite food, one of his favorite foods is blueberries. So let's solve this again. How many 80 cent blueberry cookies can you buy with $20? And what is your change? Now this would seem to be a division problem at first. You know, you would solve $20 divided by 0 0.80. But that's decimal division and sounds difficult. There is an easier way. We can use guess and check even. But let me again put here, is 80 cents. And let's see if we can multiply this and go towards $20 here. Let's say I double it, I would get 160. Two cookies. Wait a minute, if I multiply this by five, five cookies, I will get a nice even number. Do you know what that is? Five times 80 cents is going to be exactly four dollars. So that makes it easy. Now we're going to have an even amount. 
So if you have $20 you want to spend on cookies, then here you multiply times 5. And so over here you multiply times 5 too. 5 times 5, 25 cookies. And what is your change? Of course $0 because it went evenly. Your change is $0 and you can buy 25 cookies. Yum yum. What do you think, Matthew? What do you think, Matthew? Yum yum, he says. 